UB's Jacob School of Medicine has been working throughout this pandemic to identify all of the COVID variants here in Erie County. They're now keeping a close eye on the Omicron variant to see if it evolves here in Western New York. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley goes inside one of those labs where researchers are trying to identify and detect the variant from hundreds of positive COVID samples. This is a genome sequencing center lab at UB's Jacobs School of Medicine. Lab co-director Dr. Jennifer Surtees says it is where they work constantly to extract RNA from positive COVID samples into DNA to conduct sequences that allow them to detect variants. What is it like when you discover a variant? What happens in this lab? <laughs> well, um, it is, it's, you know, when we first saw them, it was kind of, this double-edged sword, right? Like, so it's kind of cool to see one of these things that is affecting public health and to have to be the ones to identify it. But at the same time, it means we've got something that we need to worry about in our community. But right now, Surti says they have not seen any of the Omicron variant in Erie County or Western New York. We haven't found the Omicron here yet, but we have cases like going like crazy, um, case rates going up like crazy in Erie County. It's all Delta. Delta is still the predominant strain in Western New York and Erie County. Erie County Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein says COVID PCR tests conducted in the county's public health lab will be able to detect the Omicron variant. Erie County sends all its positive COVID cases to UB and it is here at the university where they check for those variants. It will be really interesting to see if Omicron and Delta will coexist or if one will dominate over the other. Surti says they are reviewing hundreds of COVID positive samples that have poured into the lab over the last couple of weeks trying to detect the new variant. We're cranking through those samples and we're keep obviously keeping an eye out for not only Delta, um, but the Omicron uh, variant as well. Experts say what we don't know yet is if the new variant is more transmittable, if people will become more or less sick, and how it will react to the vaccines. All of the variants have responded to the, the, to the vaccine, and this current one is sort of a mishmash of previous variants to a large extent. But so far, doctors in South Africa, where this variant was first identified, say they're only seeing mild to moderate symptoms in patients who are fully vaccinated. In Buffalo, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.